I think for me the biggest thing is trust. So trusting that I'm going to take care of them, trusting that I'm going to say what I do, I, you know, do what I say I'm going to do for okay. them. You know, I have to be honest about something. What's that? Whenever you show me your screen with my loads on it, I act like I know what I'm looking at, but I don't. It's okay. <laughs> So I came here and, you know, I, I felt, I felt, you know, it, it was warm here. People were nice to me here. They actually uh, went, it seemed like they went the extra mile to get me to work here, you know, because I had some issues that I had to take care of uh, genetically. And, but they were very patient with me and they said, you know, we'll get you here. And that's how I came. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I feel loyal to, to working here.
singing in the background and she goes, oh, he's so fun, bring him to work. And oh, I think we should keep him at home. He's still a little young to be running around the office. But I've really enjoyed working here. I think everyone's phenomenal. They're just so understanding. Yeah. Especially having a young, a young kid. That was been one of my biggest challenges is finding a company that can work with you with your family needs. Right. So with him, you know, whether he's sick or having troubles at daycare, they're always just so willing to, to let me work from home or work around my schedules. That's cool. You get to work at home sometimes. Yeah. It's been tremendously helpful. So I'm really enjoying it. And uh, I never thought I'd get into trucking, but it's, it's a fun industry. There's just so many different things to it. It kind of gosh, makes me really think about like when I'm out on the road and I see a truck, I'm just so much more mindful now. Like, okay, I gotta make sure I get my five to seven second space. Oh, he makes fun <laughs> of me so much. I'm like, I don't want to make their camera go off and then their smart truck go off. What if that's their safety You're exactly bonus? Exactly right. Yes. <laughs> so I'm always like thinking about that, and he just teases me. And, and it's just you know, there's so much more to it. And, Funny, I have so much more respect for the, the truck driver since I've become a truck driver. I, I didn't think twice when I was just a four-wheeler driver, you know. Uh, cutting them off, I mean, it takes, it takes a while to slow this big thing down. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's, it's definitely brought to mind so many things that I never thought about before. Definitely. And uh, for me, it's nice to be able to relate to, I think what's helped me relate to some of my drivers too is the fact that like, my boyfriend works for BNSF. Right. So I understand when you want home time, the importance of making sure you get that home time to spend time with your family, you know, and miss it home. So I think that's really helped me. Does he go out of town? He does, yeah. Okay. He works out on the road. Um, we were lucky enough to have him back for the last year, but he's actually heading up to Modesto and he'll probably be gone until December. Oh, really? He's months at a time? Months, yeah. So I probably won't see him for a couple months. Uh, just because the drive, he has to, he works nights, so he would get off at like 1 o'clock in the morning Saturday. Then he has to drive, you know, 12 hours to get home and be back by Monday night. So for us, it's like, it just makes more sense for him to stay up there for longer periods of time before he comes back home. Right. And then usually he'll, uh... Not only does he have to leave town, but he has to work nights. Yeah, much it's Much respect tough. to him. Much respect. Yeah, so I told him, so maybe I'll try and see if maybe work will let me have a day off and then I can come up to you. So that way your schedule's not, you know, too interrupted. Have you been to Modesto? Yeah, I actually went to visit him when Grayson was about eight months old. It was quite an experience uh, driving 13 hours with a six month old. Oh, you drove there? I drove there after work. Oh my gosh, I think I had to stop every two hours to change diapers and feed them. Um, but it was it was nice. I liked the area. I said, hey, well, you know, we go maybe. There's some nice areas in Modesto. We have our drop yard there. That You know what? If, when I do go, because I'll probably end up visiting at least once, mm -hmm. I'll just drop by and see. Because I didn't even realize we had the yard there. You know? Maybe you can drop your car off at the drop yard and then have it pick you up. There just you like go. A driver. Uh, they really want us to get out there and just kind of see what it's like for you guys, which right. I'd love to do because when I'm talking to you guys and you say, oh, something's going on the ship or doing something on a trailer, I've never been out there to actually see it happening, so for me it's hard to understand time-wise how long it's going to take or right. what it's really like, so I, w I want to see just all the different aspects. I mean, I don't mind if something, you know, goes wrong. Obviously, I hope it doesn't. I, right. I hope that every shipper and receiver will go to smooth sailings, but unfortunately, not always how it goes. No, not always. But uh, I will say this though, you know, uh, I, I've, I've run into some where they, they, they were just cranky. I don't know if they woke up in a bad mood. And uh, you just uh, smile at them. And I, I've told this one lady, she was very cranky with me. And, uh, you know, I won't say the place, but I said, ma'am, are you having a bad day today? And, and then she opened up to me and said, oh, my back hurts. And I said, uh, I got some Advil in my truck. Would you like some Advil? And she said, no, that's okay. But that totally changed her mood, you know, just, uh, I just try to come across to people, you know, the way I want to be treated. Exactly. Right? Treat us the way you want to be treated, which is why even when I have that phone call that's uh, not so pleasant, yes, it is, still it trying to be, oh, definitely, especially, um, I think some of my, my harder conversations are actually with, with 
new drivers, the students, when they first come off because, um, you know, they'll have, they'll have things that they expected, or, you know, that they thought it was going to be right. A and then it'll be B. So just talking through them, the situation, what's going on, you know, what it might be like, really when you're out the road. And uh, so I just always try to be nice and I feel fortunate enough that even if someone's cussed at me, just gone off, they always call back and they apologize because they know, you know, it's not my fault. I'm just trying to help them out. So I feel really lucky. All my drivers love me. I, I think that uh, a lot of the SoCal drivers that I talk to get along with me really well. So yeah. I like talking about all of them. I, I don't mind if I uh, get to be the first one they talk to every time works for me. Then I get to catch up, ask them how things are going. You know, the rumor, rumor is that uh, Taylor's not going to be there for that long, and I'm all like, what? what are you talking about? I think she's too good. She's too good. She's going to get promoted, and we're going to lose her as a DM. Oh, man. I I have heard little people say things, but if I, if I do go, I will ask that it be with something that has to do with SoCal. I yeah. love this team. In SoCal? Yes. Yeah. I love working there. Before you, uh, Ramon Garcia was my, my no, Dan Peterson. And then before Dan Peterson, Peterson, Ramon Garcia, but Dan Peterson was only for a short time. And uh, when Ramon got promoted, he would still help me out, you know, if I needed help, if I couldn't get a hold of my GM. So that's what I like about it also, you know, even if they get promoted and you can get a hold of them, you know, they'll help you out. Yeah, it's definitely. A, it's, a great, uh, it's a great situation going on. Yeah, I think, I think everyone together. I know there there are drivers that have never been mine that have my cell phone. They'll reach out to me and ask me for help and I'm just more than happy to help them anytime I can because we're I think all in I've this even together. reached out to you on your day off and you still reply. I try. I definitely try. Grayson watches his YouTube videos and sometimes I can't get to you but if I hear it going off uh, he's much better now where I can say can you pass along with the phone and he'll hand it to me and I can get things done. Isn't YouTube great for the millennials? Gosh it's yeah I remember when my cousin first told me about YouTube and I was like, How, what is it? And she goes, I was like, is it like you? Like the letter of YouTube? And she's like, no, like you as a person. Is there anything else you're interested in doing tonight? Trying any out for any other kind of divisions, especially? Actually, funny you should ask. Um, yesterday, as I was getting my A service, I went and talked to uh, Ramon Garcia and I started uh, inquiring about owner-operator. Okay. So, uh, he introduced me to, uh, is it Diane? I think so. I think. And, uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember her name, but, um, she went through the, the, the paperwork and told me everything there is to know, and then she started checking my thing and my safety score, everything was good, so that's another option. I mean, I just, I like options. Yeah. But I like my, I like my truck, and I know I'd I have to give it up. And I like training, and I know I'd have to stop training. So yeah. it's just good to know that there's other options. Definitely. You know. But uh, as far as that goes, hey, look, he works at our work. I forget his name. Yes, I keep his name. Is that about Paso? I run into him all the time in El Paso or Phoenix or Fontana. I love to hear all the different things that the drivers are like. Uh, new, new driver of mine, he's getting ready. Just passed his road test, just got his paperwork approved, so now we got to get him into a truck. And he's like already getting ready. He's like, what kind of things can I bring? And I said, well, you know, uh, people have hot pads, I have crock pots, grills. I mean, man, whatever makes you most comfortable in your truck, because you're going to be out there. Like, he wants to be out there basically uh, 365 days a year. Going out and seeing the boss, go for it, you know, but bring what makes you comfortable because, you know, the last thing you want to do is say, no, you can't you can't bring something to make right. your food, you know, as long as it's safe, of course. Um, do you have fire. a lot of drivers that live on their truck and stay out all year? Being that I have the trainers, not as much as before when I had OTR, but I have a couple guys. I have a couple of drivers that are uh, not trainers and, and they stay out. They won't quite stay out for more than maybe two 
months, but they'll, they'll be up for a while and then they decide to come home. But it's some of my, my younger drivers that are more willing to kind of stay out for a little bit longer at a time. Right. You don't have children or you know a spouse at home. So. I mean, that's the only reason I, I go home is because of my son. Definitely. Yeah, if I get that. You know, how it ends up working, a lot of guys they asked about the Monday to Friday and they said, heck yeah, you you know, you want to do it? I am more than happy, you know, we'll get you out there, get you back home, make sure you can see your kids. Right. I think when I first met you, you were actually in a terminal and you had a student with you. And I think they said that you were, yep, that you were going to be my new driver. And what did I say to you? I remember saying something to you. <laughs> it was last summer and trying to think. I, th I think I remember saying, I like to run. Yes. Dan, Dan told me how to dance. So just keep it moving, keep moving. I want to say, I even got to, I think at the first low we got to, it was like Phoenix to Texas. And he's like, don't worry, he'll take it. I know he'll take it. That he loves to run it. And, uh, yeah, gosh. You could just make things happen. i give you a little bit. Like, I, I know Raymond solid for it. And, uh, even when you were sick. I think you kept going. So I yeah. want to say you were, you were sick for about a week, but you still pushed through, and that was awesome. I was like, okay, all right, we're getting, getting to do things. You know, I could say the same about you. You were sick, and your voice changed. I was all this <laughs> talking to me, and it was you. And you were still working. You know, I get that work ethic from my mother. You know, my mother was always, she never missed work. And, I told my mom, Mom, they said uh, if I stay, take too many days off, they're gonna, I have to clean out my truck. And my mom said, well, good. Don't take any days off, go to work. <laughs> you know? Yeah, But um, since you've come, I've, I've, uh, it's a different, it's more of a personable relationship, not outside of the work, but you know, you, you uh, it seems like you, you with me and you, you have a child and I have a child. So you understand, like, hey, can I get home by this certain time? And you, you really try to get me home, and I appreciate that. You always have have a student ready for me. You always have a load ready for me after I drop off my load at the, at the receiver. You know, it's all good. You know, I hear a lot of other drivers. I don't know if their DMs aren't as good or what, or the drivers aren't. But I don't have that problem here. I, I enjoy where I work, I enjoy SoCal, I enjoy you as my DM. Thank you, I love her. you're a great driver and you're always, you know, even if uh, Miss a call is shooting you a text, I know you're going to get back to me right away. That's I what try. I love. I love that... Unless I, I'm sleeping. And, well, then I try to look at your log and see if you're sleeping. <laughs> I'm glad you got your ride out. And I think you got another one scheduled, I'm not sure, but it's, it's cool that you got to come out here and see, you know, kind of what we do. Yeah. And I Definitely love any opportunity I can to get out and kind of experience what you guys get to experience. Because it's a whole other world from inside. From what we experience in this match. They need to, to, to bring the driver into the office and oh. the office, the driver do uh, driver manager. Yes. I'm ready for it. Oh man, there'll be drivers going all over the place. <laughs> hey, you sent me to the wrong place. Hey, what, what's going on here? Oh, I no. would be more than happy to have you sit with me anytime <laughs> you like. You know, what should I get to do? I've, well, that's what they do with the DQP students. They'll have them come sit with us for about an hour in the afternoon on Mondays. And uh, so then I get to like, I tell them all the different screens and what I'm doing. But, you know, if you got to sit there all day, it would start to make more sense than just an hour because there's just so many different things going on. But yeah, I've had a couple drivers when they've had their services done, they'll come sit next to me and they go, gosh, I just couldn't do it. And, I think I'd go a little crazy because, you know, it's, it's I a have lot. to be honest about something. What's that? Whenever you show me your screen with my loads on it, I act like I know what I'm looking at, but I don't. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm pretty sure you're not the only one. You guys have shown me your load info on your cell phones, and it's I different. can't. I can't decipher it. I mean, I could if I took the time, yeah. but the way that it's structured is just so much different than mine. It's structured which different. Is, just gotta get used to it. Oh, yeah. You're so funny. I guess when I send screenshots, that doesn't really help. Yeah, you sent me a screenshot of it, and I was looking at it. Well, I try more or less send it for like the cities, because 
because I know that the times are, are funny. That's sunny. I'm gonna have to start like maybe getting like a little. But you know that's me. Mark I'm sure there's a lot of drivers that are a lot more. Well, maybe their DM has pointed out the different things. That Trust might have me, helped. The first time I looked at that screen, I was like, "What am I looking at? Where is this, huh? What?" I do, I do have a good driver man. Even though she's newer, she she gets it. She picked up quick on everything. She picked up quick. That's yeah, good. she's got a head on her shoulders, and uh, she understands, you know, because she also goes through the same thing of, uh, you know, having a loved one being away from home. So, you know, she gets it, huh? Yeah, she gets it. I think for me the biggest thing is trust. So trusting that I'm going to take care of them, trusting that I'm going to say what I do, I, you know, do what I say I'm going to do for okay. them. That's a big thing for me with the new, with the new guys especially. Um, and then just communication. Don't be afraid to ever tell me anything. You know, whether you think that I'm going to be upset or I'm not going to be upset, the biggest thing is just making sure you tell me so that I can take care of the problems. That's what I'm here to do. Just make your lives as easy as possible so you can focus on the load, making sure you get there. I'll figure out everything else. Okay.